no threats anymore. I, I do think Johnny needs a father. All right, you can see him whenever you like. Thank you. I am not comparing you to Donna. I Never really am mind. not. Never mind. Do you think that you and I could have a quiet, peaceful evening? Do you think that we could manage that? Sure. Sure. Uh, we can be as perfect a pair of homebodies as anybody. Why not? I happen to be serious, PC. All right. Okay. Um, where's the paper? Oh, there it is. I mean, there. where's the paper? Well, what are you about? well, I just want to. Paper. I what are you doing now? You that I can be a docile husband if that's what you want. <laughs> That'll be the day, eh? Of course. <laughs> you didn't get me my my slippers or my pipe. That'll be the day. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh. Maybe we could train bunkers. No. Somehow, I don't think Bonkers wants to do uh, that any more than you. Ah, uh, well, even if he doesn't, I will attempt to play <laughs> the role. Now, oh, dear. Oh, good grief. Oh, after a day at the office, let's see. Uh, <laughs> ah, oh, here's a very interesting item. Ah, oh, yes, uh-huh. Very famous racehorse going to be auctioned off. Mm. For sale, let's see. Well, you must Name mean Prince um, Orloff. He's Orloff. won five European won five trophies, European including the old toy. How'd you know that? Hmm? Oh, well, Lars was telling me in Bonkers about it. Bonkers, too? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, he's really very excited about it. Is he going to bid on him? Uh-huh. Yes, very seriously. Mm. <laughs> Could I trouble you for some more champagne, darling? Oh, of course, of course, of course. <coughs> Lars told us that this horse is an absolutely magnificent animal. Of course. I don't think any other animal can compare to Bonkers when it comes to animal magnetism, eh, Bonkers? <laughs> but Lars has said that when I actually see the prince in the flesh, I'm just faint with pleasure. You know, I think we should just stop talking about Lars Bogart. Lars Bogart, Lars Bogart. Your fault, you know, you asked me. I'm how sorry, I brought the subject up. Right. I really am. Well, I know you brought the subject up because you know that I love animals. I must say, the idea of owning a creature like the prince absolutely boggles my mind. You're easily <laughs> impressed, Daisy. Oh, Lars says that horse is worth millions. Not only is he extremely valuable at the racetrack, you'll forgive me, Bonkers, but his stud fees alone are fantastic. <laughs> Speaking of stud fees, baby. Oh, no, you don't you be so gross. No, no, what? no. What's no, the matter? No. What's the matter? What's going on? I hope you didn't come here this evening thinking that we were just going to hop in the old sack together, did I you? I did have a feeling hmm? that we might just go. Oh, no, 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 you have got. Another thing, All right, Daisy, what's going on? Come on well, now. Well, see, the way I had figured is you and I are just at the friend stage. I mean, we are just barely civil to one another. But we have meant so much to each other, I darling. know, but there's we been really so much have. water under the bridge since all that. <laughs> you know, it's all so silly. You know, you're I'm the only man that you really care about. Well, if you really feel that way, then you have to prove it to me all over again. How can I do that when I have to contend with somebody like Lars Bogart, Lars Bogart, oh. Lars Bogart. Oh, Lars, oh, Lars. never mind Lars. Lars. You don't have Bogart. to compete with Lars, you know. You don't have to. But if you want to, you have to play fair. Play fair. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You've set up the rules. I think mm -hmm. I'll just go home and study him. Hey, Bonkers? No. Say no, Bonkers. Tell him we're not brushing him off. No, no. I, um... I think we'll just call it a, a day. I have to get up very early in the morning. Oh, well, all right, just as you wish. Oh, uh, can I have a kiss? Of course you can. Uh-huh. Let's see. <laughs> How about tomorrow? Tomorrow, let's see. Um, well, Lars is coming for the auction, and maybe we should just sort of leave it open, you know? Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Fair play. Well, I think 
I have to see a man about a horse. Okie doke, here yeah, we go. I hope this will be good. Oh, Special sure blend. It'll be great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mommy, mommy, oh. mommy, mommy. All my children will continue in a moment. spoonfuls of ice cream and I'm sure the old nightmares will go away it's just what the doctor ordered Bonnie did you know Bobby's daddy is a doctor that means he knows all the right things to do well, maybe. Should I open? oh she's look at this look at th look the band-aids falling off uh -oh. my goodness uh, doctor I happen to have a first aid kit here in the kitchen I always keep one could you, you bring it in here nurse yeah. Certainly. What do you say? We'll do a professional job? What do you think? What we can do here. It looks like it's healing pretty good. Okay. What do we got? You want to pick it out? Yeah. Okay. Which one do you want? That one. Right there? Okay. I'll do a job just like we do in the hospital. Here we go. Ready? Got, look, you've got another cut on your pinky. Look at cuts that. Boy, everywhere. you've got cuts everywhere. we got <laughs> pinky band-aids here. Boy, we're going to take good care of you. You live a tough life. She does. You do. She does. There we go. we got that covered. Okay, here is your ice cream. There you go. I want a story, too. Daddy always told me a story. Oh. Daddy told you a story, huh? So, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you and I go upstairs to your room, and while you're on your bed eating your ice cream, I'll tell you a story. Oh, Cliff, that's very nice of you. Oh, it's the least I can do. You took care of Bobby all day. Uh, the two of us will go on up there and I'll tell Sleepy he had a story. Okay. I'll tell her Goldilocks. Shouldn't be too long. I can put anybody to sleep telling them Goldilocks. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Got the ice cream? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, where's my dinner? I'm stuck. Oh, no, wait a minute. For what? You do not get one morsel of... Oh, darn, this candle always goes out whenever I open the door. I'm surprised that I even gave you a kiss until you give me my sussy. What a greedy little girl. I'm not greedy. I'm just dying of curiosity. Come on. Oh. Gimme, okay, gimme. No, I'm a little bit nervous about this. Why? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you why. Because this is the first time that I've really ever picked something like this out for somebody. My darling Nina. I'm doing this too. <laughs> I hope this gives you some indication of how much I love you. Oh, Steve. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, open it up before you get all teary eyed. Now smear my. <laughs> smear my face. <sighs> It's going to be perfect. I already made arrangements with the jewelers, just in case you don't like the design. I sure will. How do I open it? <laughs> Earrings. 